January London vlog. Absolutely freezing, chilly, bitterly cold. <laughs> You don't mind me filming the dogs, do you? Go for it. Just try and let me get out of the photo. <laughs> no, 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 stay there. No, I'd rather right? not. <laughs> you obviously a dog walker. How can you manage so many dogs? <laughs> Piccadilly Circus. The Piccadilly Circus lights have been switched off. The big billboards with TDK, GVC, Sony, whoops, Coca Cola, and the rest of them. Great animation boards and videos, whatever. Quite impressive stuff. And that's been switched off for refurbishment or whatever they're doing. Apparently it's going to take six months to change the whole technology so I want to have a look at the impact. But just before that have a look at this 1930s vlog. with Piccadilly Circus where the uh, lights have been switched off. Look at this. So there you have it. The black matte monolith at Piccadilly Circus without any light. Quite lucky that the uh, scaffolding's not been up uh, yet. So you can actually see the um, this black screen behind me. Um, I quite like it. <laughs> it's not the place I come to um, very often because a bit touristy, and it's right in the centre. As you know, the centre is just super polluted. Look at this. Yeah, not good. High means that you can't run. You shouldn't be doing any sport outside. You shouldn't be barbecuing and stuff like that. Okay, I know what you're going to say. It shouldn't be uh, like this. No, it shouldn't be like this. But the air is polluted. I'm in central London now and the air is absolutely extreme pollution. And we've got to think about this. So uh, enjoy while you can. Um, 
Yeah, so this, this big black wall now, I hope you see it well, um, it's tremendous. I really like it. I liked it with the lights, obviously, because, well, it was amazing. I don't know what to think because they're obviously going to install a huge movie motion animated movie wall, LED high tech wall, so that they can project more stuff bigger and probably louder as well with some music. I don't know, but I quite like it. It's sort of blank, anything's possible. Really, I think. And this is going to be like this for six months. I mean, it's not going to be black like this for six months, but it's going to, it's going to be under work in progress for six months. They're going to have to dismantle this whole facade in front of the old facade and they reinstall a new lightweight structure in front of the building. Probably quite complex, actually. I'm sure they're going to create a computer room, you know, for the control and monitoring um, of what they display. I'm going to be there when they're going to put it back on, that's for sure. I rather relaxing on the palm tree on the lovely beaches of Jamaica. Sorry for the loud music behind me, there's a guy doing a, doing a show and act. Um, yeah, so I changed, I've changed the camera, my um, GoPro camera's um, out of battery. Um, yeah, so the idea about noticing things every day, not taking sort of taking for granted some stuff that you again not notice or you notice but you don't think about it, it's quite interesting. Um, and this black monolith, monolith behind me is, I think it's great. I really think it's great. Um, I just think you know we should maybe just question things sometimes, and this could be, in fact, for me. The inspiration of her for a uh, for a building. Um, why not? You know, the, 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 these are the things we've got to be able to um, to reintroduce into our minds, just as being positive. So the lights has gone. It's finished. No, it's not finished. It's great. In fact, it's going to stay like this for six months. Um, let's embrace it and see what we can do positive with it. Anyway, that's my uh, thinking. Do you know of any architect who actually delivers radiators to his building site? I'm good like that. It's absolutely freezing. I can't feel my hands. I'm holding the tripod now and I don't think I can feel my fingers. And I've only done like 200 meters out. So I'm going back home to get some gloves. <laughs> I'm a wimp, I know. But God, it's cold. It's so cold. And it's sunny, don't get it. Anyway, gloves, gloves, gloves. destination to deliver my radiators my arm is killing I've been walking with these radiators through St John's Wood um, so really happy to deliver them here now although I must say I quite enjoy the pain it's a weird thing isn't it pain um, these radiators were so fucking heavy but in a way the pain is good when it stops. You've guessed it, we're at St. John's Wood station, tube station. I just want to show you just a little 
few details that I think few people really see and spot. This station is basically pretty much as it was in the 1930s or so. They've kept the bronze, patinated bronze finishes, they've kept the wooden escalators, the lights, the pendants, the signs, everything. So I'm going to show you this now, just five minutes, I say five seconds, um, and so that you get a, uh, an idea of what we do also in London, which is just not about refurbishing and wiping out what was there before. It's also conservation work, and so in the tube you will find conservation work. Look at this. I love you, it's no lie 